Hello, today I will introduce you to the updated CBT system for Namjazikiwe University. This update has made it easier to create and manage exam questions. Also, you can automatically create questions using the artificial intelligence based question generator. This video is the first installment of many to come. We received feedback and suggestions which we have implemented to make the system more user-friendly and efficient. Firstly, there will be no need for the installation of any special software on your personal computers. Beginning this semester, you will now be able to create and manage your questions using Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. And so, we have created a couple of templates for both Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. These templates would be made available to you. It is recommended that you strictly abide by these templates. Now, I am going to be showing you how it works. Now, let us start with the Microsoft Word template. We have two types of questions, the single question and the grouped questions. A question is composed of the serial number, the question body, the options, and finally, the correct answer. Now, take note of the structure of each component. The serial number is a number followed by a full stop, then a space, then we have question body. The options are wrapped in parentheses, then a space, and you have the options. For the answer, specify the letter that corresponds to the correct option. A group question is a group of questions that share the same instruction. For example, use this image or use the formula to answer the following questions. Here, the instruction given is answer true or false. In place of the serial number, you need to add the serial number of the first and last question that belong to the question group. Thereby telling the system that this group starts from question 2 to question 4. Then, after adding your instruction, you can go ahead to add the questions. This document has been completed and is now ready for upload. Let us go through it. As you can see, the same structure has been applied for single questions. I have a group question here. Starting from number 4 to number 6, the instruction reads, The formula below was presented to you in your pharmacy for compounding. Read and answer the following questions. The formula in question is an image. These images can be prepared, made ready and stored in the same folder which you would submit together with this document to the NOC. For Microsoft Excel, it's a very straightforward affair. Looking at line 1, we can see the following headings serial number question option a option b option c option d option e and then the answer you can also have as many questions as you want preparing this template is also quite easy but there is one thing you must note the serial number column must be formatted as text how would you go ahead to do that? Click on this column header here, right click and click on format cells Then select text. I already have mine formatted and click on OK. And this will prevent this input here from, from turning into a date format when you start entering a question group, for example. See, Microsoft Excel 
interprets that to be like a date. The system is not going to recognize the document if that occurs when you have exported. Here is an example of a complete worksheet in Microsoft Excel. We have a single question here, another question, and here we have a group question and con here contains the instructions for the group question. We have already seen this in the method version, the formula below is presented in pharmacy. Then we have three questions, three, question four, question five, and we have another single question here. You can have as many single and group questions as you may like. When you're finally ready to submit your questions to the NOC, you are going to have to export the questions in CSV format. I'm going to show you just how to do that. Click on the file menu, click on export, click on change file type, CSV, and save. Select your file name over here, click save, yes. Now we have created our first set of exam questions and answers. And we have achieved this using software we are already very familiar with. This approach makes it easy for exam coordinators to collect and manage questions. Now let's go ahead and sign in and upload the questions we have set for a sample exam that has been created already for us. And let's also um, take the exam, the sample student. Okay, I want to log in with my details. Alright, at this point, there are no questions here. So, you can create questions here manually. Also, edit questions here manually. You can also import all the questions at once. This is where you can add images, and images can be added to your questions or your options or your question group instructions. Alright, with this button, I'm going to activate the form that will enable me to upload my file. Once you have selected your file, click open. Awesome. Now we have loaded our questions. Let's go through. Okay, we have three single questions here. You remember these questions, right? Then we have question groups. The instruction says for questions one to three, one to three, referencing one, as in the first question in this page, to three. The formula attached was presented to you in pharmacy compounding. And here is the image which was sent together with the questions. Then we have question one, question two, and question three. So next we are going to be looking at how these questions are presented to the students. This is a sample student we have created. Let's dive in and take a look at what the questions look like. So here this is the instruction page. We have student information here. Start. All right, so first start with the question group. So this is the instruction and this is the image. And this image can be, you know, zoomed in or expanded. And then here is the question. What quality of wool fat would you need? I'm going to answer. And you can see the instruction basis for each of those questions. And this is a regular single question. And this is a single question. This question is part of a good group question. And this is also part of a group question. That sums it up. Thank you for being with me so far. More videos will be coming. The next one is going to introduce you to the AI-based auto question generator. Thanks again. Bye-bye.